guy. I just called for the race again, just like I promised him. Yeah. Yeah. At, at 15%. I drove a hard bargain, and he drove a hard bargain, and I went back down, so... When I asked Paul today, he said no. Oh yeah, I talked to Paul today, and... Uh, fuck! Fuck! Honey, we're gonna be alright. I'm getting sevens, and, and I'm updating my resume, and... Honey, honey, damn it. Got the race. I did, I walked in and I told him who he was talking to. Daniel Price, Daniel fucking Price. Oh no, I said, I've been taking your crap for the past 12 years. And a raise last year at 2%. I'll tell you, Paul, that's what I said. I said, Paul, it's bullshit. Yeah, excuse my language, but it is, it's bullshit. I drove him down. I worked him down, man, I sure did. I, Got the respect I deserve. Told you I did it, I did. I got that raise. And we don't have to worry about the, the mortgage or the medical bills or nothing. None of the damn thing. I'll buy the Lexus. I know you've been eyeing it. And I've been saving too. And Andrew can go to Woodward now. And we can pay for college. But they're not saved, Pierce and Pierce. Never have to worry again. Never. Fuck. Jeremy and Tim. You are such a hypocrite! What? This is so typical. You go out drinking after work twice, like twice a week. And then I have one fucking walk in your mouth. And you split! That's right, when you're 21, then we'll talk. Not the time. Listen, you're only grounded for another week, so mind up about it, sweetheart. What's for dinner? Fairy potatoes and fresh chicken with more plate. Perfect, I'm starving. And no more arguing to you. And we're going to talk like civilized adults. Too bad Dad missed the evolutionary bandwagon. <laughs> Too bad you won't be getting your laptop back tonight, even if you don't stop. What? That is really cruel to air. If you don't relax, the punishment is just going to get worse. I will relax. I'm relaxed. That's better. Now, how was school? Fine. Just fine? Yes, just fine. So nothing interesting happened? No? Juicy gossip, no cute new boys. Nope, nothing. Oh, come on, there has to be something interesting you can tell me. Is, is Jessica still dating Kevin? Oh, stop it, Dad! Now? It's none of your business! Excuse me. Just leave me alone. She's had a tough day. She's failing English. Failing? Andrea? But I already talked to her teachers, and they don't seem to think that it's term lack of effort. Andrea might have a slight learning disability. We think she might be dyslexic. Dad, I promise I'm not stupid. I never said you were stupid. With a little help, we're going to get it all taken care of. There's the special tutoring program they're referring her to. It's the REACH Institute. It's a three-month program, and they say it will drastically improve her studies. And they can give her different strategies to help her cope with her disability. What's the cost? Does it really matter? I mean, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to plan for upcoming year and make sure that our savings are in order. It'll be $500 per month. $1,500. It doesn't matter, Dan. We can swing it, can't we? Of course we can swing it. The way the economy's been lately, it's been tough on our class. It's been tough on us. I'm just, I'm just saying, maybe she should be tested. She has a problem, Daniel. This is your daughter. Money isn't going to be an issue on this. Sweetheart, we go see Roxy. Now, now. <laughs> Now listen to me, Daniel. I don't give a damn about the economy. This is something your daughter needs, and we will fix. It's just not as easy as it seems. Daniel, don't give me that bullshit. I've been telling you to talk to Paul for the past six 
six months and you haven't done it. It's just not that easy. If you were half the man my father were, it wouldn't matter whether it was easy or not. Nothing comes easy in life, Daniel, but that doesn't stop real men. Real men provide. And don't give me that same story. Dear downside, I'm the last person you should be asking for a raise. I'm lucky I still even have a job. You need to stop making it. You stole my job, Julia, huh? Because you can have the damn thing. You seem to think you can do it better than me anyway. I'm working my ass off for you. Look, Jack, I'll be fine. It's not that important. Money is tight, I understand. I'll just study harder. It's not as if I even needed that bad. Yes, you do, sweet. No, I don't. Not when you consider everything. There's nothing else to consider. Are you going to tell him? Not now. Tell me what? Mom, it's nothing. Mom, if you don't tell him, I will. Tell me what? It can wait until after dinner. Well, you just tell me. I'm not going to ruin dinner with a little bit of bad news. It's not just a little bit of bad news. Dad, we're losing the house. What? It's not exactly like that. I just got a call from the bank today. It's just a notice, really. It's really just a little notice. We have 60 days. 60 days? But it's not a problem. We're going to be fine. Daniel, tell your daughter we're going to be alright. Of course we're going to be alright. What exactly did the bank say? They said we have 60 days to make the bank payments on the house or else they'll foreclose. How much money does it come out to? $20,000. Oh, Christ. But you talked to Paul today, like we said you would. You did talk to Paul today, right? Of course I did. And? And, and that's what I've been telling you, Julie. It's, the company's taken a real hit since the economy went bust, and, and a lot of agents have been let go, but they're keeping me on because I've been with PMP since the beginning. Dad, is everything all right? Of course everything's all right. Because, because, because this is the good news that I was waiting to tell you. I got the rest. I walked in there and I told you who I was. I'm Daniel fucking Price. Chad, Daniel, I... That's right. I said, Paul, I've been carrying a weight around here for too long and I haven't been getting an ounce of compensation for it. I've been a slave to the advertising industry for 15 years now. I'm asking you for 15%, not a penny less. Not a penny less, Paul. What did he say? What did he say? Well, he looked me right in the eye. And I looked you right back on the point you. And he said to me, Dad, you have a hard bargain. But I'm beginning to see things your way. The economy's been tough on us, you know, but, but you're right. This office has been overlooking you for quite some time now. It's about time you got the respect you deserve. You got it! At 15%. 15%! I always told you both I'd take care of you, and I will. I know, Daddy. I know, honey. Because I always take care of my girls. Don't you ever worry about it, because they're not going to keep me down, no, sir. Because I'm Daniel Price. Your dad.